This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Well, it's that time of the year once again. Our good friends from PennDOT are back in our studios today. Pleased to welcome back James May, who is the District Press Officer for PennDOT. A lot of programs. You tell me this is your busy time of the year. It's Click It or Ticket time, and it's paving season. So let's start with Click It or Ticket. Well, this year, between Memorial Day and Labor Day, is the very, very busy time of year uh, for PennDOT. It's a very busy travel season, but it's also that time of year where a lot of people are out on the roads taking summer vacation. So we're in the midst right now of our Click It or Ticket campaign. And one of the things that we're doing this year is called Border to Border. And what that is, is we're partnering with the Pennsylvania State Police, with the police up in New York, New Jersey, Maryland, and emphasizing the fact that once you cross the border, the click it or ticket campaign does not end. So as you go into Pennsylvania or you leave Pennsylvania, you'll see police out there um, it, reminding people to make sure that you wear your seatbelts, uh, whether you're in Pennsylvania or you're traveling at, at other places across the, across the nation. Um, one of the things that we found through last year was that the number of crashes in which somebody is not buckled up and they're in a crash has actually gone up, which that is not a, a good thing. Uh, the fatalities went down a little bit. That's probably because we have cars that are safer. So there was a slight decrease in the number of fatalities. Uh, but when we look at the people who are in crashes, we're actually seeing more people are not buckling up. And with more people being distracted on their phones, uh, that is not a good thing. So it's really important that we emphasize to folks, make sure you buckle up when, you, when you're heading out. And make sure that, especially if you're traveling with your family and you have other, other people in your car with you, that everybody is buckled up, front seat and back seat, before you head out. I know you told me there's a paving effort underway, which will be good news to the driver's ears out there. <laughs> well, one of the things that we did, we just started this a few years ago. Um, you may have seen Governor Wolf was in town to highlight this, this idea that we had. Um, it's our, our district-wide paving crew. And what we did was we took um, a couple of our, our crew members from each county and created one team. And what this team is doing is they're, the entire summer, all they do is road resurfacing paving. So we created this team. Um, we, we were looking at the number of miles that they're paving. Um, it's the equivalent of going from Pittston up to Binghamton, New York, and back as far as the, the miles of road that they're paving. Uh, this crew will be paving about 85 miles just here in Luzerne County. So a lot of work that they'll be doing. Now keep in mind, District 4, which is six counties in northeastern Pennsylvania, uh, we have 8,500 miles, uh, lanes of roadway that we are responsible for. That's the equivalent of going from here to Anchorage, Alaska, and back. So it's a lot of miles that they're working on. But this is a great way that we can just take one crew and have them uh, focus on nothing but paving. Um, some of the work they'll be doing, I know uh, State Route 92 up in the Exeter area, that's one that um, is a really rough road. We've gotten a lot of complaints on that. That will be one where they're working on. Uh, State Route 93 in the Sugarloaf area, that's another major road. But there's a lot of work uh, across the region, but a lot of work in Luzerne County and the Hazelton area that's going to be taking place. Uh, if people want to see all of the work that's taking place, you can go to projects.pendot.gov and just click on Luzerne County, whatever county you want to you want to see, and you can see everything that's taking place now and everything that's anticipated. And uh, we also, from our office, send out a weekly report. I know that you guys probably get that, uh, the weekly report, uh, letting you know what to expect for the coming week. You can email me, jamay at pa.gov. That's jamay at pa.gov. All right, a lot of information, a lot of important information that you need when traveling, not only during the summertime, but all year round. So if you need more information, go where James told you to go, and you will definitely be up to date as you hit the highways during this summer travel season.